Fifteen years ago, God gave me a vision to start a home for unwed mothers in Ohio. Hundreds of lives have already been changed. Just listen to these young women. If there was not a Hannah's home, I feel like my family would never have had, would never have gotten healed. We would probably not talk. I would not have continued my education. I would not have gone back to school or, you know, I, I would have been very broken. I slept on a park bench for two nights because I had nowhere to go. I'll probably be staying in a shelter somewhere, you know. I'll probably be homeless and everything else. Hannah's home pretty much saved my life. I couldn't have done it alone, and I had so much support here. And that's really what you need when you're pregnant, is all the support that you can get. Because it's so hard, especially when you're a teenager. When they come, their self-esteem and self-worth is usually low. So we do a lot of work on trying to encourage them that God has a plan for their life. God has a special calling on every person's life. Every child that's born is a created, unique creation in God's, in God's eyes, in God's sight. Regardless of whether you believe in the right to choice or, or not, is really not the issue. It's the opportunity that there's a young person that may go on to change the world inside this young lady's belly. Let's work together to give her an opportunity, a safe place where she can come and be cared for, be loved on, be educated, be put back in the workforce again, off the streets, a contributing member to society, and in addition, that child in her belly will go on to bless somebody. And it's just been such a blessing. My son has a life, and every time I go visit him or I think about my time here, I, every time, it's just reassuring that I did the right thing. Hannah's home is a safe haven where they can come and they don't have to worry about food, shelter, clothing, medical care. We know that single mothers usually remain in poverty because most of them become pregnant when they're quite young before they've completed their education. They need to develop a marketable skill, not just completing a high school education, but going in a direction that they can market. And we try to come up with a plan that's personalized to what they want to do, their goals that they want to reach. They help me with STNA, getting a nurse's assistance um, certificate, and you know, just little eyes and ears, sewing, swimming. It is giving her an opportunity to change the way she approaches her entire life. What more could be better? They become solid citizens of our country. Instead of just this the welfare state that we seem to have, they're out of that. They're not part of that. They've moved on. They understand that they have a responsibility as a citizen of this country to be a contributor. And that's what, we're, you know, that's what Hannah's Home really helps our society. And learning how to make those decisions and how to make those life choices is what we're all about. Isn't God good? These lives have been completely changed. We would like to bring this same ministry of love and hope to the community of South Florida. When Carol told me about the wonderful things that were being done in Ohio, I thought to myself, why can't we do that here in this place? In a three and a half, four hour uh, radius of, of South Florida, there is just one other facility that, that offers that outreach. And it happens to be over in Tampa, where they, they do a great job with the limited capability. They have 12 ladies that they can handle at one time. I think it affects more people than, um, and more families than anybody can ever understand. Last year, they turned away 925 ladies. The board of directors and the founder, uh, since coming to Florida, have done a lot of research about what is available here in Florida and what's working. This is everybody's issue. This is everybody's problem, and this is everybody's uh, charity or ministry to get involved in. My challenge to the community is to get involved in Hannah's Home. Um, if they can, you know, consider uh, kind of adopting one of these girls as their own to, to help them in, in whatever form they can. I'm big on going around the world, but the truth is, uh, mission starts at home, right here in our own backyard. The need is, is just, it's critical. And we need Christian people, people that really love Jesus Christ, to do more than say that they love Jesus 
we need them to show it by what they do. We watch every nickel. We know how to invest it. We know how to spend it two or three times over. But, you know, for an operation like this, it's analogous with a, with a small company. Uh, it takes so many resources to, to make the, the machine go forward. And, and, and everyone is going to be needed. This is not something that's done by one individual or one person, not even by just one church. It must be a community saying that we believe in this mission. When people contribute to uh, Hannah's Home and support the work here, they are really giving to this generation and the coming generation. Please don't judge them. This is your chance to like reach out to a generation that's lost. And businessmen, you never know when this is going to touch your family or somebody close to you. So uh, people that aren't church people, that are business people, they should support it. The greatest uh, accomplishment that one can have is to see that you were a part of making uh, a vision come to reality. In your heart you know it's right and it means you need to step out. All of us need to step out uh, without fear knowing that this is the right thing to do. It's incredible the impact that a place like this could make on somebody. Even though my parents were discouraged about me coming here at first, uh, my parents still, they donate. They're so grateful. My parents are just completely grateful for what they have done. If my daughter would have been pregnant and not getting along with me, or perhaps she was living out on her own because she didn't want to live under our rules. For me as a mother, if I knew there was a place like this, that would just, um, this, would, this would just be so comforting to know that there were people that care and love. The guy that dug the hole for the, the, the basement, his daughter ended up at Hannah's home two years later. He stood there with tears in his eyes as he dropped his daughter off the place that he helped build. It came back to him and that's what I want to tell you community, it comes back to you. And everybody has something to give. If it's not in a financial way, then it's your hands, you know, something that you can do. Even though I don't make very much, I still give what I can. Um, right now I'm going around door to door because they have like baby bottles uh, that they want to fill up with change and I do that every year for them too. It's not just a home for, for kids who have money, you know, and, and this is going to be a free service for people that don't have other options and it's brought by the Lord. And it's our responsibility, it's not the world's responsibility, it's not the government's responsibility, it's not the state's responsibility, it's the church's responsibility. Jesus was talking to the church. We say, well, we don't know these girls or these children or they've made the mistake, they have to suffer, there's consequences to, to, what, to what they've done. But you know what? We all deserve grace. And He loves us and we are to be forgiven. And the girls have to forgive themselves. This is the property that we believe God is going to provide for Hannah's home. It's approximately three acres in the village of Tequesta. There's police and fire services nearby and it's close to two hospitals. Most importantly, it's right in the center of where we will need our volunteers to provide help in this ministry. The property already has a group home existing and therefore it will allow us to move in and start helping young women with their babies before the end of the year. We ask you to join with us and please help. It is time for the church to stand up and be doers of the word, not hearers only. So get out there and get involved. It's not some massive governmental program. It's not throwing money at something. It's changing young ladies' lives one at a time. We see young women turn into butterflies and there's no price to be put on that. We need this home to help who we can and get the word out so that we can expand even further. These women and their children can become beneficial uh, members of our community. I came here as a a girl and I walked out as a young woman. Stop just knowing about the problem but step out and do something about the problem that guys and girls are facing with unplanned pregnancies. We're gonna pay for these young ladies and for these children one way or the other. How much better to pay it forward now to get involved in their lives to help them be a productive member of society. Again to whom much is given much is required. Please, please, please partner with us to help change lives for all of eternity to help change Palm Beach County, to help change the Jupiter-Tequesta area. We need your help. Please get involved. 
I hope you've caught the excitement and vision of Hannah's home. We need your help. Won't you please give to this life-changing ministry and be blessed. If you want to do some good in this world, <laughs> do, it, do it while you can. <laughs> yeah. home. We need your help. Won't you please give to this life-changing ministry and be blessed. If you want to do some good in this world, <laughs> do, it, do it while you can. <laughs> yeah.